Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Configuring Pulse Modulation on the Rodian Schwartz SMBV100B. In this short presentation, we'll explain how to use the SMBV100B Vector Signal Generator to create pulsed RF signals. This presentation assumes a basic understanding of signal generators and pulse modulation. If you're unfamiliar with these topics, you might want to watch the presentation, Understanding Pulse Signal Generation, before beginning this presentation. On the SMBV, we access pulse modulation by selecting the RF block and then choosing Pulse Modulation from the menu. There are two sources for pulse signals on the SMBV. Pulses can be created by the SMBV's internal pulse generator or by an external source. The more common case is using the SMBV's internal pulse generator, so we'll start with that. There are two modes for the pulse generator, single pulse and double pulse. As the name implies, single pulse mode sends single pulses with a given pulse width and a given pulse period, or repetition interval, between pulses. Keep in mind that the pulse width must be shorter than the pulse period. In double pulse mode, pairs of pulses are sent. Because we're sending two pulses each time, we now have the double pulse delay, which is the time from the start of the first pulse to the start of the second pulse in the pair. In addition, we need to define the width of the second pulse. Note that the width of these two pulses can be the same, or it can be different. After we configure our pulses, we can use the Pulse Graph feature with both single and double pulses to graphically verify or view the configured pulse widths and intervals. In addition to describing the width and spacing of pulses, we also have to specify how these pulses are sent. Do we want to send a single pulse or a series of pulses? Do we send pulses automatically or only when some event or trigger occurs? There are several different trigger modes that we can use in sending pulses. We'll start with the two most common modes, auto and single. The last three modes will be covered later in this presentation. Auto mode repeats the defined pulses continuously without needing any user intervention or external input. In single mode, the single or double pulse will be transmitted each time the execute single trigger button is pressed. Remember that in single mode, only a single pulse or pulse pair is transmitted with each trigger. On the SMBV100B, there are two BNC connectors related to pulse modulation, pulse video and pulse external. Pulse video outputs the internal pulse generator signal. Pulse external has two purposes. It can take the input of an external pulse modulator or receive an external trigger slash gate signal. Pulse external is the most important of these connectors. Earlier, when talking about trigger mode, we mentioned that there are three types of external triggers. These external triggers are received by the SMBV100B through the pulse external connector. If we need to change the electrical properties of the input connector, such as the threshold voltage, this can be done via pulse external trigger. Let's look at how these external triggers work. In external single mode, each received trigger causes a single pulse to be sent. In external triggered mode, pulses are sent continuously after a single trigger signal is received. And in external gated mode, pulses are sent as long as the external gate signal is present. Pulses are not transmitted if no external signal is present. Now that we've discussed external triggers, let's discuss pulse video. When pulse output state is enabled, the pulse video connector outputs the internal pulse generator signal. In other words, a replica of the pulsed RF signal. Another way of thinking about this is that what appears at the pulse video connector is essentially the envelope of what is being generated by the SMBV's RF output. Let's summarize what we've covered. The SMBV 100B pulse modulation option generates pulse signals using either its internal pulse generator or external trigger signals. The internal pulse generator can produce pulses as single pulses or as double pulses. Triggering controls whether pulses are transmitted once, continuously, or for a defined period of time, and triggering can also be either internal or external. 
Although this presentation discusses using the SMBV100B to generate basic unmodulated pulses, it's also capable of generating more complex pulse sequences and modulated pulses as well. This concludes our presentation, Configuring Pulse Modulation on the Rodian Schwartz SMBV100B. If you'd like to learn more about pulse signals, other modulation types, or signal generators, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.